I'm going to talk about blood pressure day and things you can do yourself to help lower your blood pressure, just lifestyle practices for blood pressure. First, I'm going to explain what blood pressure is, though, because a lot of people don't really know what blood pressure is. So this is a heart sound recorder graph. This is my graph. I do over, you know, probably over 10 of these a day. And we look at nutritional things based on these graphs. This machine's not diagnostic. We just use, like I said, to look at nutrition and apply it to the graph. And what's cool is a lot of times we can do it and in 15 minutes, give them the supplements in 15 minutes see a change, which is, you know, never ceases to amaze me. But I'm gonna use it to explain blood pressure. So like I said, this is my graph. This is the work period from here to here, rest periods here to here. So when you say your blood pressure should be 120 over 80, that's during this period is the 120. This period is the 80 because the heart works here. It contracts this heart. Here's a heart model. These ventricles here, they contract and they push blood up into the body through those two valves which are the aortic and the pulmonic valves, the two lower valves on this graph. So that's going to create pressure. When it contracts, there's more pressure on the arteries. That's what gives you a higher number. When you relax, there's less pressure. I'm just going to use this because my shadow here. I'm going to use less pressure because that's when it relaxes. These lines should be totally smooth. Now, this is a really good graph. I've been working on nutrients with my graph for years, uh, and it's this is a... 9.5 out of 10 graph. This is a really good graph. But right here, work, rest, 120 over 80, that's what it should be. Now, the uh, arteries, see, well, that, that higher number normally does get uh, higher when you get older. Here's why. When you're young, your arteries are like a straw. And I don't even know if you can see that little straw. But they're flexible. They bend. Picture a piece of cooked spaghetti that would be or, you know, real flexible and pliable. But as we get older, they just naturally get harder, more like this pin. See, there's a tiny bit of flex, but not much. The arteries get harder and they get rougher. So when that period here, when you contract, they're not as pliable, so there'll be more pressure driving that number up. So that number can come up some naturally and not be a problem. But, of course, it can't be too high. But that is a normal physiology as it comes up when we get older. So let's talk about how to take the blood pressure first of all. So let's say a patient's coming in here. They're stressing out, driving on the phone. They get to the parking lot. They run into there. They're a couple minutes late. They run up the steps or they take the elevator to the second floor. And they're um, stressed out kind of or something's going on in their life. They run and we take the blood pressure right away. That's the absolute wrong way to take blood pressure. Here's what you do. Get a digital, and I didn't grab my digital, but um, I got my regular blood pressure unit, but not my digital. But uh, grab a digital one at Walgreens or CVS or wherever you want, Walmart, and uh, put it around your arm. Sit in a chair, put it around your arm. Wait 15 minutes. Relax. Don't do nothing. Wait 15 minutes. Then take your blood pressure. That's your blood pressure, not when you come into an office like this or you go to your medical doctor's office and you got to sit 15 minutes, wait, and that's going to give you your correct blood pressure. And I've seen people come in, they were 30 points high, and they sit there by the end of the visit, which is approximately 20 minutes, um, maybe 25, they are uh, down 20, 30 points, just sitting, relaxing. So... Uh, that's how to take it properly. Now, when you're talking about blood pressure, whole food supplements have, that we use have a profound effect on most people with high blood pressure. But some of the things you can do, number one, walk 30 minutes a day. You know, studies show people who walk 30 minutes a day live longer. So you should at least get 150 minutes a week. So, you know, six days, 30 minutes, that's about 180. But, you know, we prefer, you know, walking every day, 30 minutes a day, because we know people live longer if they walk 30 minutes a day. Number two, limit stress. Be aware that stress can increase your blood pressure. Stress at work, stress at home. Uh, so I see a lot of people that have stress because they're taking care of their elderly parents. And so sometimes their blood pressure just goes up. 
Um, make sure you get enough sleep. Sleeping is can affect blood pressure. Uh, so if you sleep, by the way, before midnight, those hours before midnight, so let's say you go to bed at 10, and so that 10 to 12 is a double bonus. Any hour before midnight is worth two hours after midnight so far as getting the proper sleep, uh, which is pretty amazing. The next thing is stretching, yoga stretching. Now, I'm not talking about yoga, the religion. I'm talking about stretching, just different stretches. That has been shown to reduce both systolic and diastolic pressure. The other thing, resistance exercise is shown to reduce systolic pressure also in the elderly. So uh, those are the things you can do at home. You can give me a call anytime you want, whether you're a patient or not, and we will talk about the things. But remember, that's the work period. That's the rest period. That's when it's your higher number. That's when it's your lower number. And it starts off again. Starts off again. And this, when you look at it just for kicks, this is a super strong heart. All these peaks coming up in the mitral tricuspid, that means when you contract, boom, it goes, it, that blood's really going through there well. So, okay, that's what to do with blood pressure. If you have any questions, 314-843-9355. Like I said, whether you're a patient or not, that's better. I answer everybody's questions. So until next time, do the things that you can do, things we mentioned just now, to help your health, help your blood pressure, help all aspects of your health. One thing I forgot, stay away from carbs and sugar. That'll definitely cause some changes. Okay, thanks a lot, and you guys make it a great day.